Thank you. Today, we've gathered here on this momentous occasion of the listing ceremony of Stovecraft Limited on the historic BSC, which is Asia's oldest and world's one of the largest stock exchanges. As we begin, allow me to share a few things about the company. As you know, Stovecraft Limited is a kitchen and home solutions brand, and it is one of the leading brands for kitchen appliances, pressure cookers, and in the sale of freestanding hobs and cooktops. The company manufactures and retails a wide and diverse suite of kitchen solutions under its flagship brands, Pigeon and Gilma. And licensed manufacturing of kitchen solutions under the brand Black Plus Decker. With these brands, they cover the entire range of value, semi-premium, and premium kitchen solutions and products at different pricing points to meet diverse customer requirements and aspirations. The company's kitchen solutions comprise of cookware and cooking appliances, and the home solutions comprise of various household utilities, including cons consumer lighting, which enables Stovecraft Limited to be a one-stop shop for all kitchen and home solutions. Stovecraft was founded by Mr. Rajendra Gandhi, a first-generation entrepreneur with over 20 years of experience in the kitchen appliances industry. The sector-specific experience and expertise of Mr. Gandhi has contributed significantly in the growth of Stovecraft. The company's flagship brands, Pigeon and Gilma, have enjoyed a market presence of over 14 years and enjoy a high brand recall amongst customers for quality and value of money. And now we would like to welcome the various dignitaries who have joined us today and present them with bouquet of flowers. To begin with, we would like to welcome our host for today, Mr. Ashish Kumar Chauhan, CEO of BSE, formerly known as Bombay Stock Exchange. Mr. Ashish Kumar Chauhan. And I now invite the leadership team from Stovecraft Limited, who are stalwarts in their respective fields, and will be telling us more about the company and its achievements. Introducing Mr. Rajendra Gandhi, Managing Director, Stovecraft Limited. I now invite Ms. Neha Gandhi, Executive Director, Stovecraft Limited. Mr. Rajiv Mehta, CEO of Stovecraft Limited. <laughs> Mr. Shashidhar SK, CFO, Stovecraft Limited. We would also like to extend a warm welcome to the book running lead managers who have played an integral role in the success of this IPO. And we have with us Ms. Cheryl Neto, Managing Director, Corporate Finance, JM Financial Limited. Thank you. 
Mr. Jibi Jacob, Head Capital Markets, Edelweiss Financial Services Limited. Thank you, we welcome you all. And now we will commence this auspicious occasion by the lighting of the lamp and for the same, may I request Stovecraft Management, Mr. Ashish Kumar Chauhan and the book running lead managers to please come forward and join us for the lamp lighting ceremony. Thank you, everyone. This traditional ceremony marks a new and prosperous beginning for Stovecraft. And to commence proceedings, I now invite Ms. Cheryl Neto, JM Financial Limited, to please come and share her opening remarks with us. Ms. Cheryl Neto. Very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the management team at Stovecraft and the book running lead managers, I'd like to extend a very warm welcome and thank you very much for attending the listing ceremony of Stovecraft Limited. Uh, I think all the introductions have been made and you've actually got introduced to Mr. Rajendra Gandhi and the rest of the team, so I'm gonna skip that. Uh, but I'd only like to introduce my colleague, uh, J.B. Jacob from uh, Edelweiss, uh, the other book running lead manager, and myself, I'm Cheryl Neto. Uh, listing is a very big ma milestone in a corporate's journey and uh, hence today is a very momentous occasion for Stovecraft as it enters the ranks of some of the most promising and valuable companies in corporate India and uh, therefore this is a very, very auspicious occasion for all of us as we are gathered here. Uh, well, again, Stovecraft, a lot has been said about the company and what they do so I'm not going to go into that detail. Uh, what I'd really like to say is that we always believed in the success of the issue throughout the journey. The investors also always believed in Stokecraft's growth story and were highly impressed with the kind of enthusiasm and confidence that the management displayed throughout the roadshows. We have full confidence in Mr. Gandhi and his team and we hope to see Stokecraft become one of the largest companies in India, sir. On behalf of everyone, I acknowledge and appreciate the good work done by all the teams in making this transaction a successful one. The issue has received great demand and across all categories of investors. Thanks to your belief in Stovecraft, the IPO saw an overall subscription 
of 18.03 times. All of this would not have been possible without the unwavering support of the Stovecraft team throughout the journey. We are very grateful for having given us the opportunity to work with them. Again, a special thank you to all the intermediaries for their constant support. That is the Broking community, our registrar Karvi, the PR agency Ad Factors, the bankers to the issue, the regulators, i.e. SEBI, and the stock exchanges, BSE and NSE. Hearty congratulations on achieving this milestone today. This is only the beginning, and we look at your company reaching spectacular heights in the years to come. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And now to give more insight into the company and their journey leading to this momentous occasion, I'm delighted to invite Mr. Rajendra Gandhi, Chairman and Managing Director, Stovecraft Limited. Please, sir. Jay Jinendra. Good morning. Good morning, all of you present here. Very special dignitaries. First of all, let me thank uh, Sri Ashesh Ji for hosting us here at this very prestigious venue. For us at Stowcraft, and personally me, I think uh, we are more, more humble than we, what we are. I can say this would be a dream for any entrepreneur. It would be uh, <clears throat> a kind of a target to achieve there, but I think is the, is the beginning of a new journey also for us. It is extremely difficult to thank each one of you all present here who made this happen for us. Whether it was, of course, the bankers, it started with them. The larger team behind that, I, I would not be even able to number them. The kind of effort that I have gone to make this happen is also a learning journey for us, for the new corporate way of living. While we had always believed in the culture to be a respected corporate, but uh, this pro journey that uh, has, has eventually brought us to this day today, the most eventful day, for in this journey that will be listing our company. The people who believed us from the day we started, that is a consumer, and today the same consumers we see in our, list, uh, in our investors list, see the confidence that they would have posed in me and the company to have uh, today got from being consumers, being investors in this company. It is, I mean, I can say, though my uh, background, I mean, I come from a very humble background, but I can say I'm more humble today. These feelings cannot be, I cannot match it with anything. It is between, between two special uh, feelings, feeling of joy and feeling of humility. So I wish each one of our consumers who enjoyed all this journey in using our products, I wish they continue to enjoy the joy of investing and the joy of gaining from today being partners in the company. I thank each one of you all here for making time this morning to come here. Some of, I mean each one of you I can say are stalwarts in your own fields and uh, I can name, I can start naming of course uh, the JM team which uh, with, uh, both along with uh, <coughs> Edelweiss both uh, at the lead uh, book managers to the issue. While it is such a simple line, I know what the kind of effort, the kind of process that you need to follow. We thank the, uh, what you call regulators, the kind of uh, process they've set for the country. I can say the investors' money cannot be more safer than in the hands of these companies which grow, go through this process. Of course, the uh, ad factors who have uh, introduced us to the investing world through their PR activity. We are a host of, uh, uh, I can say, legal advisors to the company. Many are here, many are not here. We have our auditors who are, of course, from the big four, 
the Deloitte's team is here. Um, we have uh, our independent directors, say, who chose to also put their trust in the company. They gain nothing, but they get, take all the responsibility. And uh, I can say this list can go on. Thank you for uh, making us, uh, making this event more eventful for us by being here. And uh, I again thank each one of all those who believed in us and initiated the init uh, initial investing process and all the future investors in this company. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for that heartfelt speech. I'm sure you have certainly inspired many with your journey till here. And now I would like to invite Mr. Ashish Kumar Chauhan, CEO of BSC Limited, our host for today, to please come and share his thoughts. Shri Rajendra Gandhi, so Shri Cheryl Neto, Shri G.B. Jacob, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a good morning to everyone present at the BSC International Convention Center as we celebrate the equity listing of Stovecraft, a well-known kitchen solutions and emerging home solutions brand. I'm also happy to inform everyone that the market capitalization of the listed companies on BSC crossed uh, Indian rupee 200 lakh crore uh, or US dollar 2.75 trillion yesterday, making it the ninth largest uh, exchange in the world. BSC is India's leading and most diverse exchange, providing an effective and transparent market for trading in a bouquet of products like equities, debt, currencies, commodities, interest rates, distribution of mutual funds, insurance, stock lending, borrowing, and many other things. It has played a prominent role in developing the Indian capital markets by being Asia's first and India's first universal exchange, as well as the fastest exchange in the world with six microseconds response time. BSC puts forward a strong and robust platform for its 6.1 crore investors to trade in a highly secure and reliable environment that offers enhanced liquidity, diversity of participants, innovative technology, and trustworthy clearing services. Listing on the exchange helps company to move forward, open new avenues, and opportunities for growth. As seen from over 4,700 companies listed on BSC platform, making it the world's largest in terms of listed companies. We are confident that by listing on BAC, Stovecraft will not only be able to enhance its visibility and profile, but also broaden its investors' base, which we hope will support its business expansion plans. The IPO book-built public issue consisted of 1 crore 7 lakh 17,532 equity shares of rupees 10 each in the price band of rupees 384 to 385, aggregating to rupees 412 crores. The issue was oversubscribed 18.36 times, uh, retail category by 21 times. That shows uh, the retail customer pool, as Sri Gandhi said. I congratulate the management of Stowcraft, their merchant bankers, Edelweiss and JM, and everyone else involved with this issue for a successful listing as they forge forward in their business. Uh, it would not be wrong in thanking all the COVID warriors uh, over last one year, we have uh, toiled uh, and uh, given huge efforts for ensuring that all of us are safe and are able to conduct these ceremonies. Uh, that includes the doctors, the nurses, all the staff with hospitals, all the government officials, uh, all the workers of municipality and everyone else. So my heartfelt thanks to all of them. Uh, BSC looks forward to continuing being Stockcraft preferred fundraising partner as it expands its reach and grows in scale. We, again, we look forward and all the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 
To commemorate the significance of this event, we will now have an exchange of mementos. And I invite Mr. Ashish Kumar Chauhan, CEO of BSE, to present special mementos to our esteemed dignitaries. And I first invite to receive the uh, memento, Mr. Rajendra Gandhi, Managing Director, Servcraft Limited. Next to receive the memento, I invite Ms. Neha Gandhi, Executive Director, Servcraft. <laughs> Inviting next Mr. Rajiv Mehta, CEO, Servcraft. I invite now Mr. Shashidhar, SK CFO, Servcraft. <laughs> Inviting next Ms. Cheryl Neto, GM Financial Limited. And Mr. J.B. Jacob, Edelweiss Financial Services Limited. <laughs> Mr. Rajendra Gandhi now will present special mementos to some very special partners whose contributions have been invaluable in the successful listing of Stovecraft. And to receive the memento, we have Mr. Ashish Kumar Chauhan. Mr. Gandhi to now present the memento to Ms. Cheryl Neto, JM Financial Limited. To receive the memento next, I invite Mr. G.B. Jacob, Edelweiss Financial Services Limited. <laughs> next, I invite Mr. Bharat Singh, Sikova Capital. Next, we have with us Ms. Shubha Maya, Independent Director, Stovecraft. Yeah. 
I now invite a representative from legal counsel, Cyril Amarshan Mangaldas. LNL Partners Law Offices. <laughs> Mr. Rajesh Chaturvedi, Chairman and Art Factors Advertising PR. Ladies and gentlemen, we will pause here and resume the Memento presentation in just a few minutes because now we have the most awaited moment of this event, the very historic moment where Stavcraft Limited will see itself listed on the stock exchanges of India. I invite all our dignitaries to please gather around the gong. And I request all our guests to please be seated as we are trying to capture the moment in our cameras. When we are 10 seconds away, I would request you all to join me with the customary countdown. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations. Stuffcraft Limited is now officially listed on the stock exchanges. Thank you everyone. May I please request all of you to take your seats and we will continue with the photo opportunities later as well.
thank you everyone. What a milestone it has been. And as we resume the memento presentation, to receive the memento, I invite a representative from the registrars to the issue KFIN Technologies Private Limited. Do we have anyone from KFIN? I invite next a representative from the auditors to the company Deloitte, Haskins and Cells. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Gandhi. May I please request all of you to take your seats. And now I would like to call upon Mr. G.B. Jacob, Edelweiss Financial Services Limited, to present the vote of thanks. Mr. G.B. Jacob. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for taking our time to attend this listing ceremony of Stovecraft. It's truly amazing to see the first generation entrepreneur, Mr. Gandhi, starting the business. From starting his early journey at his father's retail shop and going on to build a large consumer brand out of India. I'm sure the journey has not been very easy with a lot of obstacles in his way, but with his grit and determination, he's been able to overcome all of that. I still remember we kicked off this transaction in 2018, Jan 5th to be very precise. And just like Mr. Gandhi's journey, it's been a long one, at times slightly difficult, but in the end, what we have come to it, witness is the great listing of Stovecraft. And today, with this listing, Stovecraft becomes the first pure play household appliance maker to get listed in India after a gap of two decades. That's a great milestone in itself. As we all saw, the response to the IPO has been fantastic, which has been oversubscribed more than 18 times. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the anchor investors, the retail, the HNI, and all the main QIB investors as well. And Mr. Gandhi, Rajiv, Bharat, everyone from today, from being a seven shareholder family, we welcome more than four lakh shareholders to Stovecraft family. And this comes with great responsibility as well. And I'm sure with your able leadership, we'll be able to live to the true potential of Stovecraft. I would also like to make a special thanks to Bharat and the entire Sequoia India team uh, for giving us this opportunity. Lastly, as I, you know, as we all know, IPO is a culmination of efforts for multiple agencies and intermediaries. So would like to thank the regulator, SEBI, the exchanges, Bombay Stock Exchange, and National Stock Exchange. Special thanks to BSE for hosting us in this historical hall. Uh, the legal counsel, the auditors, the ad agency, printers, uh, and all the other intermediaries. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. That was all from our side. And as we end the event, we are grateful to our host, BSC, the book running lead managers to the issue, our members of the board, our family and friends, well-wishers, our shareholders, and all you lovely viewers who've taken time out to celebrate this moment with us. Thank you all once again. Do join us for snacks next door, and have a great day ahead. Thank you. <laughs>